Today we're going to take a look at making a manual backup of your Scratch Live information. Your Scratch Live information will be written to whatever drive your music is stored on. So, if all of your music is stored internally, when you make a crate, that crate information gets stored on your internal hard drive. If all of your music is stored on your external hard drive, all of that information is written on the external. So, that is one of many reasons why we encourage having everything in one location makes things simpler if you want to move them later. And what we're going to do today is assume that all of my music is on my internal hard drive. That means all of the important information I'm after is on the internal. So right now I have Scratch Live open and if you ever do any work inside of the Serato folders uh, or moving those, you want the program closed. So let's close the program. Sometimes when you close out the program up here, you will see your Scratch Live library is more than a week old, and there's a little checkbox. If you like the way your library looks, put a check mark in that box and click Yes. That will make a backup for you of your Scratch Live information. Now it only does it once a week, so if you went in, made a whole bunch of new crates, do this manual method. To start, we're clicking on the Macintosh HD, because everything's stored internally. If you don't happen to see the Macintosh HD icon on your desktop, come up to the upper right hand corner and in Spotlight type Macintosh HD. It will be your top result. Click it. Boom. Same place. Yep. Macintosh HD. Go down to your username. It'll have a little icon that looks like a house next to it. My username here is Rain. I've clicked on that and now I want to click into the music folder. There we go. Underscore Serato underscore. It has all the important stuff, crates, database, v2, history, subcrates, smart crates, recording, all of the good stuff you would want, and also the underscore Serato underscore backup folder. These are the two important folders. This is the one that Scratch Live reads. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to hit Command C for copy, click the desktop, and hit Command V for paste. All right, let's do the same thing with the Serato backup folder. Highlight it, Command C on the Mac to copy, click my desktop, Command V to paste it, and I can close this window now, and there you have it, your Serato and Serato backup folder. The program won't read them from this location, so you can keep them here. You could copy them to a flash drive and put it into a drawer for safekeeping, or you can do whatever the heck you want, really, because the program won't read them. And now you have a backup of exactly how Scratch Live looked five minutes ago when we were playing. So if you show up to a club, all your crates are gone, something gets deleted accidentally, we could always come back to these folders, put them in place, and Scratch Live will look how you wanted it.